Hey, it's Nash Rock Steve here. If you have a room that is hooked up to an arc fault circuit interrupter style breaker or an ACFI and it trips out on you occasionally, a little coffee pot like this might be the problem. I'll show you what I had happen to me. So I'd be in my office doing work, just made a fresh pot of coffee and all of a sudden power goes out. Didn't know what it was, so I went down to the arc fault circuit breaker and checked it out and found it was tripping for an arc fault. So if you're not familiar with arc fault breakers, it's this one I have here for that room where my office is. Um, if it trips, you'll find this little lever in the middle position. You wanna shut it off, and then when you re-energize it by sliding it toward the center, you hold this little test button down, and depending on how many seconds it takes to trip, it'll tell you if it was an arc fault or a ground fault that set it off. In my case, it was an arc fault, so now I had to figure out what I had plugged into this circuit that was causing it to trip. So the first time that breaker tripped, I figured it was a fluke. I just reset it and went about my business. Then it happened again and again. It's probably about the third time um, that it um, tripped on me that I noticed the second right before it tripped, I heard this coffee pot make a clicking sound. So what was happening was this coffee pot's got an automatic shutoff feature. I'm not sure if it's based on time or temperature of the burner plate, but regardless, there's something inside there that opens a contact when it's going to shut off. And that little instantaneous opening was enough for the breaker to think there was an arc and to shut down the whole circuit. This is a fairly new coffee pot. Um, I can't imagine there's anything wrong with it. So I don't think there was actually an arc. I don't think anything was wrong with the appliance. So what I decided to do was rather than plug it directly into the wall as it was, I went out and got a extra surge protector we had laying around the house and tried plugging it, plugging it into that. So once I hooked it into a surge protector, Problem solved. I can run this coffee pot as normal. It doesn't trip the breaker and everything seems to be fine. So if you have that problem, try a surge protector. I'm not sure exactly how it makes it somehow damper that little tiny um, surge that goes through when it uh, opens that contact, but it works. Gotta say, I didn't get this idea on my own. I looked online and read a few forums and found other people that tried this. So I figured I'd just make it into a video in case you have the same problem. And now just to be clear, I'm not a proponent of bypassing safety features or saying that the arc fault was not doing the right thing. Um, I'm just thinking that this coffee pot is not the problem. I don't think there's anything wrong with the appliance. If you have a situation where you think the appliance is bad for some reason, certainly don't take a safety risk. But in this case, I'm confident that the pot was not really faulty. And it was something else problem. going on. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps.